Hello, my name is Adam and I'm pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS Select Consulting Partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look on Route 53 health checks and DNS failover routing. So at first we will look at what is Route 53 health check then on types of root 53 health checks and what is DNS failover routing. We will look at the difference between active passive and active active failover and into the AWS management console for a little demo where you will learn how to create root 53 health checks and how to use them for failover routing. And what is root 53 health check? It is a function that allows you to monitor the health of selected types of AWS resources or any endpoints that can respond to requests. Route 53 health checks can provide notifications of a change in the state of the health check and can help Route 53 to recognize when a record is pointing to an unhealthy resource. This allows Route 53 to fail over to an alternate record and send you SNS notification. AWS has three types of Route 53 health checks. First is an endpoint health check that you can configure to monitor an endpoint that you specify by IP address or domain name. Route 53 then submits automated requests from multiple locations to your resources to verify that it is accessible and functioning properly. You can also leverage some advanced functions like request interval and latency monitoring. And the second one is a health check that monitor other health checks. Basically, a parent health check will monitor one or more child health checks. If the provided number of child health checks report as healthy, then parent health checks will also be healthy. If the number of healthy child checks falls below a set threshold, the parent check will be unhealthy. And the last one is a health check for CloudWatch alarms. You perform health checks associated with alarms created in the Amazon CloudWatch service. These types of Route 53 health checks monitor CloudWatch alarm. If the status of the CloudWatch alarm is OK, the health check will report as OK. So what is Route 53 DNS failover routing? Failover routing redirects your traffic from the primary resource to the recovery resources. If you use Route 53 for DNS, you can set up your primary and recovery endpoints under one domain name. A routing policy is then selected to determine which endpoint receives traffic for that domain name. If the primary server is unhealthy based on your configured health checks, failover routing will automatically send traffic to the recovery area. There are two types of DNS failover routing in Route 53. First is active-active and second is active-passive. And let's look at them in detail. Active Active Failover is used when you want all of your upnodes in all regions to be available at the same time. When a resource becomes unavailable, Route 53 can detect that it's unhealthy and stop including it when responding to queries. And use an Active Passive Failover configuration when you want a primary resource or group of resources to be available the majority of time, and you want a secondary resource or group of resources to be on standby in case all the primary resources become unavailable. Only region 1 is used all the time and region 2 will be only used when failover starts, after region 1 is unavailable. And let's look at our demo. This guide will show you how to set up a simple Route 53 active passive failover with health checks in AWS Management Console. Our architecture is based in two regions and has application load balancers, ALBs, auto scaling groups, and EC2 instances. The primary region is in Frankfurt and the secondary region is in Ireland. 
This guide does not contain instructions on how to put some of these resources into operation. So let's look into the AWS Management Console. So I am in the AWS Management Console and first thing we need to do is go to EC2 and to our load balancers because we need URL or domain name of our first load balancer which is in Frankfurt, the primary region. So I'm going to copy this DNS name and go to root 53 where we will create our first health check. Go to health checks and click on create health check and we will name it something like Frankfurt ALB. It will be endpoint health check and we will want to check the domain name. So I will select domain name and here I will copy our URL and we can do some advanced configuration here. I will select that we will want the request interval to be 10 seconds and I will also select latency graphs and as you can see here you can customize or use recommended health checker regions. I will, I will use every one of them and I can click on next. We can create an alarm for this health check so I will create a new SNS topic for me it will be put LB again and I will just write my email address here and click on create health check. And after a couple of seconds we should see here in status that it's healthy. I will wait. So our first Health check is healthy and OK. I am going again into EC2 because we will need a secondary region URL. I am going to Ireland region and load balancers. And again, I will copy the DNS name of this ALB and go back to root 53. And to health checks again. And click on create health check. I will name it again something like Ireland ALB. And we will want to monitor endpoint and again domain name. So I will select domain name and copy it, copy it here. And we don't need to use advanced configuration for this health check. I just click on next and we don't need to use the notification. I just click on create health check. And again, we can wait till this. Health check will be healthy. I will select refresh again and our second ALB or health check is fine. So we can go to hosted zones. I already have one hosted zone here. It's my test hosted zone root 53 test.cf. You can create your own if you want, but I will use this one. So I will go to it and click on create record. And we will create a record just for root 53 test.cf. And it will be a record and select alias here and go to application load balancers. And it will be our primary region. So uh, Europe Frankfurt and our only ALB there 
and go to failover, failover record type, select as primary and choose your health check. As you can see, it's good to name them like this because you know which one of them is it. You don't have to use evaluate target health. It's uh, actually a very good function, but at this moment we already have a check created, so it's not useful for us. And here you just need to write some record ID and add another record. It will be basically the same, but we will choose the secondary region application load balancer. So in Europe, Ireland, again, the only one there. And for routing policy, we will select failover. And as a failover record type, we will select secondary. And health check will be for our Ireland region. And again, unselect the evaluate target health and record ID will be Ireland ALB. And this is everything for now. So I will cl click on create records. And it will take some time. As you can see here, it should be done within 60 seconds. I could go to view status and wait till here will be in sync. So now our status is in sync. I can go back to root53.cf. And as you can see, we have two new records, one for primary region, which is in Frankfurt, and the second one is for Ireland. Now what we want to do is go to our domain, so root53test.cf. And as you can see here, I have divided this HTTP servers by simple, simple description. In here, you can find that we have Frankfurt region now, so we are using the ALB in Frankfurt region. And now I want to test if our failover is working. So I'm going back to AWS Management Console and go to EC2. And what I basically want to do is select our primary region. So it's Frankfurt. And we can see that our instances are running here. And I will go to Auto Scaling Groups and stop our instances by changing our desired capacity to zero, minimum capacity and maximum capacity to zero and update this auto scaling group and go back to our instances by EC2 dashboard and instances running and it can take some time till they are stopped. And after a couple of seconds, our instances are terminated and we can go back to root 53 and look to our health checks. Okay, so health checks and here, as you can see, our Frankfurt region is now unhealthy. So if I go to our domain, root 53test.cf, it should show us that now we are using Ireland region. So as you can see, it works. Our failover from Frankfurt region to Ireland region works and we can go back to our presentation. So thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos about AWS services, subscribe to our channel. Or if you want to learn more about other services, visit our website and blog. Links are in the description below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.